Hello, in this episode of Megabox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at True Wood Cherry from Keen Village Plastics. So let's have a look after intro. So as, as this is a True Wood Cherry. It's a cherry based wood PLA filament. Uh, it smells really nice and <laughs> it's, it's quite, quite nice smell to it but let's have a look at the label and see what it says so here they say the print settings should be 185 to 210 and bed temperature room to 60 and speed not provided by manufacturer but cooling yes and other note here is uh, 0.5 or larger nozzle is advised that's because of the wood particles in the filament and here they say this filament contains recycled wood combined with PLA and some binding polymers Printing wood filament is very similar to printing a PLA filament. And more information on willisplastics.com. So you can have a look there. And it's manufactured in the USA. But looking at the print, so I did. You can see here, quite a mess. <laughs> and I was not very happy with this filament, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, a lot of issues and, and failures. Uh, I was getting bad to horrible. <laughs> results uh, here's my maker coin and as you can see there's a lot of gaps in the in the filament and i was wondering if i was getting clogging and i was using a very uh, very new uh, ether d 0.6 millimeter nozzle and I was cleaning it testing it out with all the filaments and it was printing very nicely so there's no clog in the in the nozzle but there's quite a lot of gaps and and layer rotation was not very nice and this was just breaking apart and i was getting a lot of those <laughs> blobs at the end of the print there's another one failure and this was just crumbling i don't know what's happening here <laughs> it was just crumbling and decided to not print very nicely um, and here i got a final finished print i make a coin and here you can see the, the issues in the print and I believe I raised the temperature a little bit uh, on the top part and that printed a little bit more uh, smoothly and it f did finish but the uh, layer adhesion at the bottom here is very poor, it just crumbles <laughs> so I'm, I'm not uh, really happy <laughs> and now I'm breaking it against the layers and it just crumbles so it's like a piece of clay or something <laughs> and I finished off with the same layers a lot and you can see the stringing and I've run out of filament at this point but I was not getting any good results it just crumbles <laughs> um, saying on the, the sticker it prints like PLA I don't believe <laughs> that's true <laughs> so I was quite disappointed with this filament but this will be it for this filament uh, it's not very good in in my testing at least I don't know if this uh, batch was bad or whatnot but uh, I didn't have any good results at any level so but that's uh, what I love about the Macbox assemblies sometimes you get filament that are just terrible <laughs> and I, I have much more fun testing those than testing just plain PLAs that always print perfect but this was uh, quite fun but uh, results are quite bad <laughs> but this will be it for this video thank you for watching and uh, if you like what I'm doing here on the channel please subscribe and hit that like button and tell me what you think in the comments um, especially if you have good results with this filament uh, in your experience I would like to know if, if I was just completely doing something wrong or, or whatnot but for now I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one